Hey everyone, I'm Erin from the Jackson Hole Outdoor Leadership Institute. And I'm Zina, and today we're going to be talking you through the seven steps of the scene survey. So step one is going to be our BSI, or our body substance isolation. Now what does that mean? Body substance isolation is just anything that's going to create a barrier between you and other people's bodily substances. You can also think of this step as PPE or the place where you have the things that you need to protect yourself. Oh, geez. oh look, looks like someone's over there. Yeah, uh, huh. let's you see. Have your uh, personal protective equipment? Yeah, I got my BSI. I got that I've ready got to go. I got mine as well. All right, next up is going to be our scene safety. We want to look around and make sure that there are no impending hazards and that you feel comfortable assuming the amount of risk that you will entering this situation. It looks safe to me. Yeah. I, mean, I don't see any, any overhead hazards or anything. I don't see anything do like think? that either, yeah. For our step three, it's going to be our number of patients. This is a roll call. Keep in mind that not only patients who are injured are going to require resources. And then it does look like we only have one patient. I don't see anyone else around him. Yeah, just one. I think you're right. Okay. For step four, it's going to be consider backup. This is your first opportunity to call 911. This is also an opportunity to think about and take stock of who's around you that can help you. What do you think about backup? Should we call 911? I think we should maybe get a little bit more additional information and then maybe we should call. Once we, right. once we check up on him. Next up, we have number five. Is it an MOI or an NOI? Is it a mechanism of injury or is it a nature of illness? This is where we're trying to delineate what happened. We're really talking about a trauma or a medical. Trauma is what happens when a mechanism acts on the body causing an injury versus a medical event where the body's acting on itself causing an illness. What do you think happened? It does look a little bit more like a mechanism just because of the way he's sitting right now, but again, I'm, I'm a little unsure. All right, now on to step six, which is considering taking spinal precautions. In the event that we have a mechanism or a trauma, this is our first opportunity to take spinal precautions by simply holding the head. I'm not gonna take spinal precautions right off the bat. No, it does look like he's kind of moving his head, moving his body a little bit as well, yep. Now for our last step in our scene survey, step seven, our general impression. This is a summation of all of the observations we've made through our scene survey. This provides us a plan to move forward in treating our patient. Yeah, general impression, we have a 30-something year old male who needs some help. Let's go. Yeah. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. If you want to learn more, join us for an in-person class where we help you live, live better in the backcountry. Back